Hey guys, Brantley here again, 30 Minute Fisherman. Guys, just want to come to you today with a couple little quick tips. Um, as you can see, it's pretty windy, or maybe you can hear, see it, but uh, so don't think I'll be doing a whole lot of fishing this afternoon because it's super, super, super windy. Um, and the weather's just been crazy, it's been all over the place. I mean, I've, it's hot one day and cold the next, and it's just, it's not really getting steady <laughs> but I have been lucky enough to catch one off the bed so uh, maybe check out that video because um, <clears throat> I you know, did a video about about that fish I caught I think it was last week week before something like that still haven't been able to do that ch <laughs> a challenge video with the popper because again like I said the, the weather's just been so crazy um, I thought I had stable you know warm weather for it and then Mother Nature through a monkey wrench and all that. So anyway, it is what it is. It makes it all interesting, I guess. But there's still other ways to catch them. So, um, well guys, like I said, wanted to come to you today with just a couple of quick tips, just some things that uh, that I do and I've figured out and just wanted to talk to you about them. Some of these things you may know, some of them may not. But anyways, here we go. And guys, um, Here's some, I think these baits are fairly new, they're not exactly brand new, but this is Zoom's uh, Swimmer, it's Zoom Swim Bait, Paddle Tail Swim Bait, and I uh, love Zoom products, been fishing Zoom stuff for ever and a day, I don't know, 20 years or something, well, you know, however long they've been around probably, but anyway, um, this is their, like I said, their Paddle Tail Swim Bait, and uh, seem, seems to work pretty good, you know, I've uh, caught a couple fish on it so far, hadn't really... Um, been killing them on it but then again like I said that's possibly a weather thing it's not necessarily whether this baits working or not it's probably more of a weather deal but uh, anyway just wanted to uh, show you you know out of the package you pull these guys out of the package you know it's just a regular old hollow belly swim bait so you know that's it it's solid well I mean you know the body's solid but it's got a hollow cavity inside so you know what some people will do is uh, they will they'll just take a hook such as this this just happens to be a mustad hook see this little one eighth ounce of weight on there Hopefully that'll, yeah I think it's showing up a little eighth of an ounce of weight on this hook and this is a mustad you know five volt hook and it's got the little uh, you know the little centering pin on the front or hitchhiker is what I, I still like to call them because that's where most of this stuff came from was uh, you know people took hitchhikers and stuck them on a hook and then rigged their swim baits on them forever and a day and then <clears throat> you know company started just doing it so but anyway so you know you put your screw lock in there and then you come back in here and you know find you always like you know look where your hook's gonna come out, try to line that up on the bait, and that's where you want to try to stick your hook in. And you know the reason for that is so your bait will, you know, be straight as you know, or as straight as possible. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to show you guys was when you rig this bait like that, um, and then you know a fish grabs this thing. Not much of a hook gap there. You can see that. There's not, I mean, unless, you know, the fish takes the bait and gets it going that way. But there's just not a lot of a, 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 a gap right there to hook a fish. So, to avoid that being a problem, um, and, you know, hopefully get you a better hookup ratio with this bait, or with the, you know, with not just this bait in particular, but any hollow belly swim bait. Same thing, you use the same hook. And you screw it up on here. Except this time, you take and you split the belly of this thing open. Now this one is one I just went ahead and already cut just to save time, but so you know, you go ahead and cut that thing open like that. Now, 
Same thing, stick your hook in there, find the place you want to bring it out. And now, see, if you look, you know, that's a significant difference in, you know, a hook gap from what I showed you the first way it was done. So, you know, like I said, you know, just split that belly open and then, you know, and still, you know, to expose that hook right back through there is nice and weedless but when one grabs it you know boom just like I'm saying it's, you know a lot of hook coming out of there so that's one way to do it then one other trick I want to show you guys again on this bait or any other bait Get you some coffee stirrers. You know, this is just old coffee stirrer. I'm pretty sure I got this one out of a gas station, you know. Like at the little stand where you where they do the coffee and stuff. Just, usually I just grab a couple. No harm, no foul, you know, they're they're anyway they're there anyway for people to take. As far as you know for stirring the coffee or whatever. So or even like I said, you can buy packs of them either way. But uh, you see you take and cut you a little tip on that thing, you know, so just take your scissors. You know, boom, cut you like a little 45 degree angle on there. And you take this coffee stirrer and you just take it and stick it right in the head of the bait and run it out. And then what you end up with is something like this. And if you can see that, there is a, I've already taken the coffee stirrer and stuck it in this bait. And see, there's a hole all the way through. I hope you can see that. And so now, you know, you can take and slide your line right through this little that coffee stirrer still inside that bait slide your line in through there put your treble hook on the bottom and you have your line through swim bait you know and then you can take and put a little on the line you could put a, maybe a little bullet weight on the front up here some people even have the weight coming down here I, to each his own you know um, to me it's whatever way it makes the bait swim better but you know you take that treble hook you know, you got the three prongs on the treble. You usually stick one of them in there and leave two of the hooks kind of sticking out right here. So that's just a good way to, again, the main thing is your baits will usually last longer. It still stays pretty weedless. And, uh, again, very inexpensive. So instead of actually buying a line through swim bait. <laughs> and then next guys the next thing I want to talk about is got a jig here and this is something that I you know I can't take credit for this I actually saw it but I'm gonna pass it on to you guys so in this month's mystery tackle box they sent some things out um, I guess per se they were like little o-rings and what you're supposed to do with them is stick them on on your jigs and after you stick them on your jig, then you end up getting a, see the same jig, then you end up getting a two-pronged, you know, weed guard, kind of like that. Instead of just having a standard, standard weed guard like that, it opens it up. So I saw this on some other, some other channels and stuff, and uh, I got to thinking. I said, well, you know, I kind of hate the an O-ring, like I said, will probably work. An O-ring like you use on your Cinco's or, you know, whatever your wacky rigging or Nico rigging. You know, a lot of you guys know what the O-ring is. But, you know, also, you can also get just some of these little rubber bands like this. And this is just like a little, it's a little small rubber band, like uh, women put them in their hair or you can get little dental rubber bands like goes in braces this rubber band right here my daughter does all kind of arts and crafts and she uses them on a little thing called a rainbow loom or something I think but anyway <laughs> you know so there's we're sitting around the house and I just grabbed a couple and I use these for everything too you know I can you know you take them and use them in place of an o-ring and stick them uh, you stick them on a, a Cinco or uh, any other worm that I want to try to Nico rig. So lots of uses. But 
as you can see, this thing is, it's, you know, if you stick it on the weed guard like that, it's a little too big. So I'll take it and double it up. And again, you know, right now you just got a single strand weed guard. So I take this and double it up. Yeah, give me just a second. <laughs> so yeah, we double it up. We stick it around that weed guard, you know? Then we spread this weed guard open like that. you get it spread open then what you do is you reach back here and you grab the rubber band so you take that rubber band and you slide it back over the head of the jig like so Hopefully you guys saw that. So again, you know, you put the the rubber band around the weed guard, okay, and then you reach towards the back of this weed guard, and you pull the rubber band forward over the head of the jig. And now, as you can see. Now you have a double, you know, instead of just having a regular old single weed guard, now you got a double, so this thing is even more weedless. You know, you're probably gonna catch more fish and uh, you're gonna be able to throw it up in some heavier cover. So anyway, guys, again, just some nice little, you know, tips, tricks. Uh, I guess even if you wanted to call them some hacks, I don't know. But uh, anyway, again, just uh, wanted to bring this, bring this stuff to you guys and talk about it because, like I said, I think it'll just save you some time, save you some money, and like I said, hopefully you catch a few more fish. So again, you know, guys, like I said, get you some, get you some O-rings, get you some of these little rubber bands, and. Uh, stick them on your weed guard. I mean, to me, that's really cool right there. You know, that's a, Now I got a double weed guard on there, you know? Well, anyway, guys, I think that's all I got for you for today. Just remember, this is the day that the Lord has made, so rejoice and be glad in it, and uh, get out here and enjoy the great outdoors that the Lord has given us, especially once the weather gets kind of stable, <laughs> and you can really go catch some big ones, because it's you know, guys, I can't stress this enough. It, you know, I know in a lot of places in the country, maybe it's still too cold to fish. And like I said, where I'm at here in South Carolina, unfortunately, this time of year, we just get all kind of weather extremes, you know, hot, cold, you know, and everything in between. But anyhow, you know, if you're anywhere where, you know, your water is not iced over and you, know, you can get on the lakes fish and you, you've got you know say even a 50 degree water temp and even on up higher into the possibly the 60s you know definitely 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 get out and fish because this is the time of year to catch those pbs you know to just to catch the big ones but anyway guys like i said you know try these little you know remember on your swim baits you know cut that belly open you know, take that uh, coffee stir, a little straw, boom, stick it through there, got a line through. Um, and, uh, you know, just give those little tips a try. And then, like I said, you know, take your O-ring, a rubber band, split that weed guard, reach back to the back, pull to the front, slide it over the head, and, you know, bam. You have your double weed guard like that. Well, guys, again, like I said, that's all I've got for today. But you know, tight lines, God bless, and I'm out.